Hey groups, good to see you all again this week. Um, I wanted to say a special thank you to you guys for responding in the Thanksgiving turkey baskets. I believe the number we had in coming for pounds was 3,664 pounds worth in those turkey boxes. We had 124, I believe, actual boxes themselves. Um, groups, we put out the challenge to you guys and you responded really well. So thank you for being the hand and feet of Jesus for this community. Um, and uh, we have we got the chance to pray over all the turkey baskets before they went out. And we're so excited to see if, if this uh, little taste of food uh, for these people are going to be a way for them to see Jesus in a new way. So that is what we're hoping out of those things. Thank you for stepping up. Uh, we'll be reaching out to a few of the groups who really stepped up in it. We had uh, one group who brought 14 boxes. We had a few that brought 12 and 11 too. So if you brought one of those, we'll be reaching out to you um, with a prize um, that you can claim here shortly. So we're excited. And I, again, thank you so much for stepping up and being the church in this community. Uh, this week for groups, we continued in our series this weekend on sticks and stones, and we've been working through this idea of the power of our words. And this week we moved into uh, further into the idea of consider the company, right? Consider who you are spending time with, uh, because we've talked about guarding our hearts. And a lot of that comes from the people we spend the most time with. Uh, so Eric really challenges, who are we spending time with? Luckily right now, you're in a group who uh, are surrounded by people who believe in the same God that you believe in and hopefully have a lot of the same priorities about putting God first and putting the gospel first. Um, but there's areas in our life where we do need to consider the company we have. It may be at work or um, at school, uh, the way we have company in the sports that we play, maybe, or the extracurricular activities or the hobbies that we have. Um, think about hunting trips and what, whatever goes on at the hunting trips kind of, kind of just stays there, right? There's, there's company that encircles our lives and we need to really look at if we're allowing things that shouldn't get into our lives uh, to stay there, especially in our company. So I'm excited for the group's questions today because we're really going to look and address uh, who we're spending time with. Um, so kids, if you're in the room, uh, the leaders in there have a sheet and they can walk you through some of the kids' questions. Otherwise, adults, stay tuned. We'll jump right into the adults' questions. All right, groups, the first thing is addressing the challenge from last week. The last uh, time you met, we had talked about lies um, and removing lies from our life. How did that challenge go this past week? Question number two, I think this one is great and could really lead to um, some humor in your group. If you had to rank your friends on a scale from fools being one and wise being 10, where would you put most of them and why would you put them there? Proverbs 13 verse 20 says this, walk with the wise and become wise for a companion of fools suffers harm. Uh, now in this, uh, the question that we have for you is when has there been a time where you were sucked into doing something that you knew wasn't wise, that you didn't think you should be doing, um, but you were in the company of fools, so you did it? And think about the opposite side of that. When has been a time that you did something wise that you probably wouldn't have done, but you were with, you were in the company of the wise? Talk about another time. Question number four. 
I want you to start by reading Psalm 1 1. Um, Psalm 1 1 is actually the key verse that we built our values off here at the Foundry. Uh, you'll see these things, and I hope you see these things being lived out very intentionally. Uh, we try really hard to not do a lot of pro programs, and we do the things out of Psalm 1 1, um, I think, really well because we focus in on those things. The question is this. How can you resist walking in step with the wicked? Where can you stand outside of the way that sinners take? And where is somewhere you can sit without the present presence of mockers? Question number five. What is the character of company that you should be looking for? James 3, 17 says, but the wisdom that comes from heaven is first of all pure, then peace-loving, considerate, submissive, full of mercy and good fruit, impartial and sincere. We've heard those verses over the last few weeks. The question I have for you in this week, does your current company, right? Think about the people you're hanging out with outside of right now even. Do they have these characteristics? And a follow-up in there is, do you provide this company for other people? And maybe ask the hard question in this. Do you need to find new company? And the challenge for this week is number seven. Um, and it's talking about company. Right? And I think this week it is really intentional about being specific about how we can respond to company that we shouldn't be around. Um, get up and leave the conversation. Right? If you are surrounded by company that is not lifting people up, it's not those characteristics that we see from James 3, 17. Um, get up and leave the conversation with that negative company. That is the challenge this week. Um, it's hard. It may get awkward, but it may give you a, a way to have a conversation with someone that may speak to you later and say, hey, why did you, why'd you do that? That may be a moment that you can speak truth and life into the people and to the company that is around you. Um, that is it for Groove's questions this week. If you got time and want to jump into the digging deeper section, uh, we take a look at 2 Corinthians 6 and have some of the, we, we go through some questions that um, I think are really worth wrestling with. So take a look at that if you got some extra time. Otherwise, um, have a great week. And again, we won't be meeting the week over Thanksgiving. I believe it's November 21, that full week, um, but we'll be on that week after. I think it's back on the 28th. Uh, so just make sure you guys have that in your calendars. Otherwise, we will see you guys soon.